excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? It's KMV, the 16th Ninja, and the place to be for Paper Saber Universe, and this is the New World Podcast, brother. We're talking about Dynamite, June 26, 2024, Tony Taz, Excalibur on commentary. We're in Buffalo, Buffalo, New York. It's the go-home Dynamite for Forbidden Door. And we started off with MJF. I was like, oh, my goodness. Before he even could speak, here comes Daniel Garcia. I was like, oh, Buffalo native coming here and uh, interrupting MJF. And uh, he gives, they go back, and, they don't even go back and forth. Uh, Daniel Garcia just kind of just gives MJF a bunch of flowers. It says, I won't speak back about, bad about him because he's a workhorse and blah, 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 longest champ, all this and that. And MJF's like, oh, he said so many nice things about me. And he's like, I ain't going to talk shit about Buffalo, you know. And Daniel Garcia's mama's on the side. And uh, MJF's like, hey, you worked your ass off. You know, you've been doing what you've been doing. And how about a match with me at All in London? And I was like, oh, but guess what? Here comes Will Ospreay. And I was like, whoa, Will. <laughs> like that. MJF just goes to the corner. He's like, oh, fuck this guy. <laughs> and Will's like, yeah, Daniel Garcia, I know you've been eyeballing this uh, championship of mine, but uh, how about I give you an opportunity next week? And not only that, for the AEW Heavyweight Championship. And I was like, but you haven't even, wait, wait, wait. Why are you declaring holding that title already for next week? And, you know, so Dan Garcia's got a big opportunity next week. And for all the gold, apparently Will's going to win. Is that a spoiler? I don't know. I just thought it was a little weird. And MJF was a little jelly. He was like, you know what? Yeah, Will leaves. And MJF and Dan Garcia's like, hey, hey. MJF is like, nah, you got your opportunity. Go for it, kid. So we cut the square of Nana. And Swerve's like, Will, what? What the fuck, dude? Why, why are you claiming things that you don't have yet? You still got me, bro, at Forbidden Door. And Swerve is very confident he ain't walking out with that championship. And next up, we have BCC versus LIJ. DQ all day. Because <laughs> Moxie just gets a chair and just swings and boom. It's over. DQ. Boom. Danielson's on commentary. Fight breaks out. Naito is here to face Moxley. And Moxley and Naito go into it. They fight into the crowd and everything. They don't fight into the crowd. They just fight. They, it was funny. It's like Naito comes out looking at Moxley. Moxley looking at Naito. And he's just taking off his clothes. And he gets to his belt. I'm like, whoa, he's, he's going full naked here. Oh, no, but he had his gear on. <laughs> and the, my favorite thing about this is as the BCC is fighting, LIJ... Wheeler Yuta getting his head bashed in and stuff like that. Daniels is like, oh my gosh, I'm so worried about Wheeler Yuta. Oh, look at this. This car is like, bro, get up and go fucking help him fight. <laughs> go help him. You're probably the BCC, man. Go help them. No, you're just standing and staying on commentary the whole goddamn time. And I'm just like, are you going to help him? He's like, oh no, poor Wheeler Yuta's head. Oh no. And I'm like, bro. <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny, but I was like, come on, Brian. Come on. He's got a big match coming up. Then we have an Owen Hart tournament uh, match here. Jay White versus Ray Phoenix with Alex and Penta. Of course, Bang Bang Gang. But it's uh, they, they they get cleared out. But this match was awesome. I enjoyed this match. Jay White is one of my favorites. And I'm hoping he goes all the way in this tournament. But Lord only knows how we get to all in London. And I think Jay White in the main event of that show would be fantastic. And Jay White does get the win over Ray Phoenix here. The Patriarchy come out because they want the Bang Bang Gang's gold. And uh, they're not, the Bang Bang Gang's not, not backing off. They're like, hey, come on. You want us? You want us? Come get us. Guns up, baby. The Young Bucks backstage, they are pissed that the Acclaim beat them in that Eliminator match. That means they get a chance at those tag team championships. But the Bucks says, nope. Nope, 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 nope. That ain't going to happen, man. And the Acclaim come out. Claim comes out like, hey, we're going to fight. woo We want the Elite. The Elite comes out like, all right, I forbidden door. And they have Tanahashi. Like, hey, I'm going to help the Acclaim. And, and, you know, Okada, they got such history there. Sets up their match. I was like, okay. We're just setting up things left and right. Renee's with Mark, Orange, and Kyle. And I forget what Orange says. We are the conglomerate or something like that. I don't know. The team they named them. Cells or Orange names. I don't know. Uh, I think I think it was the conglomerate, right? Am I right? Am I making up words? It doesn't sound like you know. Come on, come on. 
But of course, Mark Briscoe giving a promo. Then Kyle cutting a Mark Briscoe promo. It was awesome. It was amazing and all this good stuff. Then we go into Soraya, Harley, and Jay versus Mina, Tony, and Mariah. Uh, Mina, Tony, Mariah get the win. My favorite part of this was uh, the champagne bottle. Uh, they all toasting. Tony, Mina, they toast. And Mariah's like, hey, my friends are toasting. And then we have a champagne bottle that Mina brings out. And she about to hit Tony, but she hits Mariah. And I felt right here in this moment when the shock was like, oh, my God. Tony's like, oh, my God. And Mina's like, oh, my God, I hit my friend. They should have just went into an all-out brawl. Not hold, No one holding them back. Well, you could have bring the security, but they should have just gone straight out and all out, bro. You just hurt uh, Tony's love and Mina's supposed love. You know, you two are fighting over her. But after this spot, I was like, okay, now just now Tony get into Tony mode and beat the shit out of Mina. Didn't happen. It was just kind of melodramatic and whatnot. And Mina was taken out and poor Mariah May. Poor, poor Mariah May. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Monet and Stephanie, I, as much as I'm, I'm, I'm excited, I am excited for this match. The build has been next to nothing. Like, of course we get a Monet promo, but it's a backstage promo, you know, and of course one shows up here, well, she showed up in Mexico, but I'm like, I don't, I don't feel the fight feel like the packages are cool and whatnot, but I wish we built more on AEW TV. So, and now, you know, I'm saying that now. And uh, Stephanie has a match on Collision this Saturday. So before Forbidden Door, she says, I'll sit there. But the build has been eh. A lot of the build to these matches for Forbidden Door have been eh. You know, except for Will and except for um, Swerve. I think they have the, the best story going right now between the two, especially how personal Swerve made it last week. Um, and, you know, Orange and Zack Sabre Jr. It's like, these things are cool, but there's there's no real build and storytelling here. Oh, God. The learning tree. Uh, uh, the best part about this, y'all, was uh, Suzuki declining Jericho's uh, invitation to help him fight uh, Joe Shibata and Hook. Declining it, saying, I'm going to kick your ass. I want, a, I want a shot at the FTW Championship. I was like, <laughs> thank you, Suzuki. You've been saying everything we've been saying. The learning tree sucks. Then Joe Shibata Hook come out. And Shibata, with his uh, speaking spell, goes, yeah, bro, you suck. You suck, Jericho. Get the fuck out of here. And Jericho stupidly, stupidly slaps Joe. And Joe's like, oh, 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 you want to slap me, huh? You want to slap me? And that fight breaks out. Joe Shibata Hook standing tall. So Suzuki, though, thank you for declining the offer of Jericho. All right. Kyle O'Reilly versus Zack Sabre Jr. I was like, oh, these two are going to be technical uh, and then on the outside, we have Orange com- Orange on commentary. We have uh, uh, Undisputed Kingdom. We got Gabe Kidd with the Undisputed Kingdom. And uh, yeah, this this match was really fun. Very technical. Uh, I was my second favorite match of the night. Zack Saber Jr. gets to win, makes Kyle O'Reilly tap out. Then of course we got all this debacle coming in. Orange comes down, gets in Zack Saber Jr.'s face. Well, he's checking on Kyle first, and then I was like, "All right, where, where's Mark to help back up?" But no. Just so we can be like, you throw a forbidden door. Here comes TMDK, the rest of them, the backup, uh, Zack Sabre Jr. Then Ishii's here. Woo, wait, why? Okay, Orange Cassidy's last friend. Okay, Ishii's here. Sweet. You know, so it felt sloppy. Just felt a little too sloppy. And then, of course, like I said, Gabe Kid representing New Japan as well. But in Undisputed King, there was just a lot going on in that ring. Then Ishii just was like, oh. Okay, woo! Yeah, stay in my orange. Uh, main event time, Gates of Agony versus Will and Swerve. Match was okay for what it was, but Will and Swerve got the win. My favorite thing of this, just to end the show, is the fact that Will once again takes that title from Swerve and Swerve lays his ass out. He ain't playing no more. He goes, look here, bitch. <laughs> That's the last time you're going to take my title. And you... Uh, automatically the start you're already giving title shots away for a title you don't have. Your eye is not on the ball. Swerve t- took him out, and that's the way we end the show. And I was like, damn, 
It was the right thing. Next week, we got Beach Break. It's Shark Week. And they're going to be in Chicago. This Sunday's Forbidden Door. All in London is 25th of August. And we have Blood and Guts, July 24th. So much going on. And now we're going to get into the picks and predictions. Forbidden Door 2024. Long Island, New York. Um, These are not really in any order. So let's just get right into it, though. You know, we got the trios match that I think might happen. Learning Tree versus Hook and Shibata. I put a question mark by it, but I'm going for Hook Shibata. Like, that's my pick there. I'm, I'm done with this Jericho shit. I'm done with it. Then we go into Owen Hart Cup Tournament, round one. Brian versus Shingo. I think Brian's going to get the win, but this is going to be hard hitting, chopping. And that's what, the, you know, I remember watching this pay per view last year with my wife. My wife's like, very different style of wrestling here. I'm like, yeah, lots of chopping, lots of slapping. That that that's the the hard, strong style of Japan, and that's what we're gonna see here. A lot of hard hitting. Um, MJF versus Hechicero. As MJF is gonna get the win, and uh, Zack Saber Jr. versus Orange Cassidy. Orange Cassidy is gonna get the win. I don't see Zack winning this match, but we're gonna get a. I think TMDK is gonna be there. Yeah, each E now is gonna be on ringside, so. A lot going on. TBS and uh, New Japan Strong Championships are on the line. Mercedes Monet versus Stephanie Vacure. I'm going with Mercedes Monet, you know. And I got to say, everyone's saying, oh, Becky Lynch is going to come to AEW. Oh, uh, no, no, I don't think that's going to happen. But I could be wrong. That could, that she could show up at the end of this being like, oh, my God, Rebecca's hair, you know. But we'll see. Uh, but Mercedes Money's walking out with both those championships. Uh, IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. John Moxley versus uh, Naito. John Moxley. He's going to retain that championship. I don't see him losing it. Uh, representing uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling as John Moxley does. And it's going to get bloody. There's going to be blood. I'm predicting it. AEW Women's World Championship. Tony Storm versus Mina. Tony Storm's going to retain. Mariah's going to turn. It's all going to happen. Even though she was busted with that champagne bottle by Mina, Mariah's going to turn on Tony, and uh, that's going to be sad for me. I'm like, oh, I love these two, but Mariah will show her true colors and be like, I don't want to be a Tony Storm ripoff. I came here because I love Tony Storm, but you made me your sidekick. You made me this. You put me you know, in your gear. Done with it. I'm going to be with uh, Mina, and we're going to take over the women's division, and I'm going to come for that championship. So I was like, oh. I just got that feeling. I'm hooked on a feeling that Tony Storm will be beat up by Mariah May at the forbidden door. And then Mariah and Mina will ride away and say goodbye to Tony. Yeah. <laughs> AEW TNT ladder match. Uh, Takeshita, Mark... Uh, Jack Perry, Dante, Leo, and I i don't know who the next member, next person is going to be in this match. But overall, I think Jack Perry is going to get the win. I got a feeling Jack Perry will uh, get the win and uh, the elite will be even more elite with more gold. It's just the inevitable. I don't see Mark winning. I, maybe Takeshita, maybe. Uh, Dante, no. Leo, no. And whoever's going to be the sixth member of this uh, ladder match, I don't. We'll see. But... I think Jack Perry is going to get it. I think Jack Perry is going to get this uh, title. All right. Now the AEW World Championship. Swerve versus Will Ospreay. This was really hard to pick. But I'm picking Will. Will's going to beat Swerve. I got this feeling. I got this feeling that Will is going to have is going to be a double champion in AEW. And it's been a fast rise for him to get there. But damn it, he got there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but... Then we have another match that was added. The Acclaim and uh, Hiroshi uh, versus the Elite. The Acclaim and Hiroshi for the win. So, there was, they, yeah, it was just like, yeah, we got, this is a match. So, a lot going on. We still got zero hour there. They got two. So, ten, I think ten matches all together for Forbidden Door. Let's fucking go. All right, y'all. Tell me what you thought of my picks and predictions. Really, I with Forbidden Door... You know, in these picks and predictions, if you're new, I'm sorry, I should have started off with this, is that I make a pick and then I predict where they're going to go story-wise. 
a lot of these matches, especially like MJF versus uh, Hechicero, I don't see that going anywhere. Like a lot of these matches are kind of just dead end. Like Brian Danielson versus Shingo, yeah, it's gonna be awesome, but just a dead end. Just like, here we go, boom, doors close again. Zack Saber Jr. versus Orange, boom, doors close again. You know, so really nothing's gonna be moving forward. Will we get a surprise? Maybe. You know, Dijak uh, is no. I believe his contract ended with uh, WWE. I know uh, Becky Lynch's contract's ending. Oh, and congratulations to Rhea Ripley and uh, Buddy Matthews. They get they're married. Mm, oh, hugs and kisses. So there's Forbidden Door, and uh, for AEW Dynamite, I give it a solid three out of five. Solid three out of five. So that's it. That's all. Tell me what you think of the show. Tell me what you think of my picks. And predictions for Forbidden Door 2024 in Long Island, New York. And tell me what you thought of the show for Dynamite. That's it. That's all. All right. Share your grammar. Share your grammar. Share the bump down to one more. Go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash New World Podcast. Go to, to ProWrestlingTees.com slash New World Podcast. Did I just say that? I think I just did. And so nice. It's twice. Get yourself that NWP logo created by Penta X. And remember that the New World Podcast is for life, brother. Daniel Garcia versus Maxwell Jacob Friedman, MJF.